The Justice Department routinely deploys monitors in major elections, but this year there will be more of them. Officials in two dozen states will be on alert for potential civil rights violations, threats to election workers, and voter intimidation. So, for example, between July and August alone, at least 140 threats against election workers were reported in Maricopa County. Correspondent Robert Sherman is live in Maricopa County with the very latest, Robert. Hey there, Nicole, and what we're seeing here right now, already the tabulation process of the early votes underway here in Arizona. This is at the Maricopa County Elections Office. It's a little hard to see, but if you look at some of the workers here, everybody has their own lanyard on. Well, if you have a red-colored lanyard, that means that you're a registered Republican. Blue-colored lanyard, registered Democrat. This is all a part of the process that they're using to try and fairly go through all of these votes and make sure that every vote is accounted for properly. Already, there have already been 1.4 million ballots cast here in the state of Arizona. And you look at those breakdowns, about 38, 39 percent of the votes that have come in have come from registered Democrats, another 37 percent from registered Republicans, and then the rest, independent third party voters. What makes Arizona pretty unique is, is that Katie Hobbs is the sitting secretary of state, meaning that she is overseeing all of the elections here around the state. She's also on the ballot, though, running as the Democratic candidate for governor. And some have called for her to recuse herself. We spoke to Blake Masters yesterday, Republican running for Senate, and he echoes those concerns. Take a listen. She should have recused herself a year ago. She should do the right thing and recuse herself tonight. You know as well as I do, she's not going to do that. Do you think it's still going to be a fair election, even with Katie Hobbs serving in that capacity? You said you want a fair election. I think it's think really messed up that Katie Hobbs is overseeing an election that she's also running in. So we've heard the Republicans in this race, especially Carrie Lake, pick their words very carefully. Carrie Lake has said that she be fair, but no specifics after that exactly that could mean. As a result, we've seen both Republicans and Democrats here in the state of Arizona saying for the mere optics of loan that Katie Hobbs should be recusing her position just so that the situation looks better. But Hobbs adamant that she's not going to do that. Take a listen. Uh, elected secretaries of state in Arizona have overseen uh, elections where they're on the ballot since statehood. Uh, this has never been an issue until now, and I'm not going to recuse myself from the job that the voters elected me to do. So there have been a number of threats of violence here at the county elections office. We've also seen uh, suspicious packages arrive at the headquarters of Cary Lake. There is a lot of enthusiasm and passion on the ground here in Arizona, but there's also a lot of tension. Nicole? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Robert, thank you for that. Well, with many longtime election volunteers quitting over concerns about their safety, veterans are doing what they can to try and fill these critical positions. We are joined by poll worker Joe Plenzer, a retired Marine, a spokesperson for Vet the Vote. Joe, we thank you so much for giving us some of your time here, sir. What issues do you see motivating veterans to sign up and work these critical election day jobs? No, thanks, thanks for having me on your show. And yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, all of us who served in the military at one point put our hand in the air and swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And when we leave active duty, a lot of us are still looking to serve again. And this is a great way to get engaged with your community and help make democracy happen at the deck plate level. So I uh, can't be more excited to be a ballot judge in uh, my county here in Southern Maryland. So, so what do you make, Joe, of these increasing threats against poll workers? Yeah, well, it's, it's problematic, right? You know, and I think we strongly condemn any sort of politically motivated violence or threats of violence. So it's just not needed as part of the process. But I think what you'll find is that the feedback we've received from our volunteers doing early voting that, is that it's been a pretty overwhelmingly positive experience for them. So, you know, Election Day is an important day for every American, and it's the deal we all get to uh, make our voices heard and uh, carry forward our thoughts and ideas for our country and our community together. So our volunteers have enjoyed um, having this opportunity to make democracy happen for their fellow Americans. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.